All right, how to use blueprints in Satisfactory. First, you have to find the blueprint you want to download. If you saw a YouTube video, check for a Google Drive link or a Discord link. Please be careful when downloading files from the internet. A Satisfactory blueprint consists of two files, a .sbp and a .sbpcfg. There should be nothing else in the download. Only click on links or download files from channels or sites that you trust. I have a Discord and a Google Drive set up for all of my blueprints, so feel free to use either one. I'll use the Google Drive for this video. Select the files and hit download. It will compress everything into a zip file and open it up with your downloads here. So we're going to go ahead and just save this to our downloads. Another excellent source for community blueprints is satisfactorycalculator.com. Among being one of the best satisfactory resources on the internet, it also houses a massive community-made blueprint directory. It is a little difficult to find particular designs, but it can have some really, really excellent designs. But again, exercise caution as always when clicking and downloading files from the internet. All right, so once you have your files downloaded, we're gonna hit Windows R. That's gonna bring up this window here. And you're gonna type percent local app data percent and hit enter. To avoid searching for it every time, you can pin the local folder to your quick access by going back to the app data file, right clicking and hitting pin to quick access. Back in the local folder, we're going to scroll down until you find the factory game folder and open it. We're going to go save, save games. And in here, you're going to see two folders. There is a series of numbers, which houses your actual save games. And then there is the blueprints folder, which houses the blueprints. So Coffee Stain recommends having backups of your save games, and so do I. So copy both files and paste them somewhere safe on your computer. Okay, making sure we are in the current game folder and not the backup, we're going to go into the blueprints folder and then open the world that we want to add the blueprints to. Note that you must have at least the Mark 1 Blueprint Designer unlocked in order to import blueprints. Next, we want to find the blueprints from earlier. So in my case, I'm going to open the downloads folder. We can see our file here. Now, typically these are going to download in a compressed zip folder, so you need to extract them. So we're just going to hit extract all. It's going to open this window and you can just say, yep, put it right back in the downloads folder, hit extract, and it should open up a new window for you. So we can see we have the same files that we have here in our Google Drive, everything transferred over. Now all we need to do is click and highlight all of them and we're just going to drag them over into the correct folder for our world. You can see they've all shown up here. All right, we can then launch the game and verify that the blueprints have transferred over, which we can see that they have. So that's all it takes to use blueprints in Satisfactory. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to use any of my blueprints, feel free to check out my channel for build guides and free downloads. Thank you for watching.